Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. We're going to be talking about single notes. So, we're assuming you've got your harmonica. It's probably going to be a C harmonica. Um, and you're just wondering, how do I get a single note out of this? Um, you're probably blowing into it um, and getting a sort of a... Uh, that sort of sound, a kind of chordal sound. So, more than one note. Um, and you're wondering, how do I play a... a um, a melody on this how do i how do i get the the notes that make up tunes rather than just so we're going to talk about getting your first single note and i'm going to give you the really basic um the most intuitive i think way of um getting a single note because there are various ways of getting them um i'm going to give you a basic version of the way that i get uh, single notes some of the time. So, um, the two most common, or may, maybe I'll tell you about the three most common. The, two, the three most common ways are, are called um, lip pursing, or sometimes called puckering. So you'll hear people say lip pursing or puckering. That's the same way. Um, so that's one way. Uh, tongue blocking, and then uh, U blocking is another one as well. So they're the most three. I don't actually use U blocking. I do. I use the other two. Um, so uh, U blocking, you kind of, you actually curl your tongue in order to isolate a single note. I don't use that, so I'm not going to talk about that um, today. Tongue blocking, um, you 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 cover several notes. So just like you might when you just put your mouth on the harmonica naturally but then your tongue actually blocks some of those notes out. Um, I'm not going to talk about that today really either, just because I'm going to use the most intuitive method, which I um, hope that you'll find you can uh, get quite quickly, uh, and that's lip pursing slash puckering. I call it lip pursing. Um, so lip pursing and puckering, though the names are quite uh, evocative, I think, and they give you a picture of what you should actually be doing. So if you're pursing your lips or puckering, that gives you a certain shape um, of the mouth. It's kind of like this. Uh -uh. So you're isolating a very small shape, a uh, very small hole in the middle of your mouth. And if you do that uh, and apply the harmonica, then the hope is that you can get a single note. So you go from or your mouth's wider to Now with a bit of experimentation, if you try that out um, and try just getting your mouth as small as possible while still letting that little bit of air through um, it's almost like the shape you make when you uh, whistle a note. You don't actually want to create the note with your mouth because you want the harmonica to do it, but it's the same sort of shape. Hopefully you'll get a single note out of that, and that that uh, will hopefully get you your first single note on the harmonica, just trying to keep that as small as possible. The muscles here aren't used to... Uh, keeping that shape for very long so it might hurt at first and it might be a bit frustrating you might not get this every time um you might find sometimes you're still getting a and you're not always getting that single note um it's all in the sides here so it doesn't matter as much if your mouth is too sort of high or too low so kind of too long this way but if it's too wide that's when you're going to get, instead of a uh, single note, you're going to get more than one, two or three. I am playing that four blow, by the way. Um, it, it doesn't matter too much. The four blow is a C note on a C harmonica, so that's why I'm playing it. Um, so I'm trying to isolate that uh, whole <laughs> four. Um, it doesn't matter which one you play, but if you do play one of the end ones, you're making it a bit easy for yourself because only on one side is there a note that could interfere and the other side there isn't another note. So you want to try a note in the middle somewhere because then you can tell when it's right and when it's wrong. Um, as I say, I've given you a, that's a basic version of the way that I, I, I play single notes. So my lip purse method is a little bit more complex than that. So assuming that you've had a go at that, and that might take some time, 
Um, so work at getting that simple method. I'm just going to talk a little bit briefly um, about how to improve the tone of that. Um, because what you'll find is, is that will get you a single note, but it, it's quite a restricted tone. Um, the shape of your mouth, um, the way that you're quite closed up, like that, um, that affects the sound. So, I am getting a single note, but there's a lot of tension and it's quite restricted. Now watch me go from that shape to my normal shape, and hopefully you'll hear a difference as well. You'll notice that I'm sliding the harmonica further into my mouth. Now the reason I didn't tell you to do this first is that when you do that, this will happen. You'll go back to getting more than one note, which is the thing we're trying to avoid. Again, it's all down to here. So if this isn't uh, narrow enough, then you're going to get more than one note. But the, the importance of going further into your mouth is that it makes it more efficient, the air is going to come in and out cleaner, um, and you're going to get a nicer, well-rounded note. So, if you get the basic shape, then the next thing to do is start to try to just... Lower that jaw a bit, and let the harmonica a little bit further into your mouth, so you're not perched on the edge. It's a little bit more like putting the harmonica in rather than on your mouth. And if you find that you do go, just push those cheeks in. Just to prove to yourself that it is possible to get this. Um, and it's a case of building up the muscles there because when else are you going to do this? You know, and you can practice it without the harmonica, by the way. You can sit there going. The first teacher I had, uh, a guy called Matt Walklet, told me. <laughs> Sitting waiting for a bus, great, use that time to practice harmonica, but you don't need the harmonica, just do this. You get some funny looks, but a uh, really nice um, exercise to be doing for this uh, single note practice. So, and if you get in, that's going to give you a little bit of a nicer tone than that um, basic method. So you've got two steps there. You've got the first uh, whistle sort of shape, um, and then you've got that expansion of that just to get the harmonica that bit further into your mouth. You loosen up your lips on the top and the bottom when you do that, and it's more the tension at the side, and then the tops are more relaxed, and that's where you get a nice air in and out. I should say that throughout all of this, your breathing should be quite gentle. You don't need to blow hard. You don't need to sort of pull hard on the note if you'd get a draw note. Um, it's just a case of uh, breathing. So if I play a note and then I take the harmonica away, you can hear how gentle the breath is. You can't hear it. It's not... There's none of that. Your cheeks shouldn't be puffing out, you know. Um, it's just a nice, gentle note, and that's what's going to give you um, good, clean notes. Let the harmonica do the work, because it doesn't take much to um, get it to make the notes that you want it to. Um, so, I hope that helps you uh, get some single notes. Um, look for some tabs online. Look for uh, uh, nursery rhymes, or, or you know how to play Happy Birthday to you, or so, some tune that you know. Um, have a go at that and try these notes um, in the context of that. Um, moving up and down the harmonica is tricky, so take it uh, slowly. Um, try the blow, try the draw, um, but most of all, enjoy it. I hope this helps. I'm going to be back soon. Cheers.